Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic. And today, I have searched for the word nomad on the workshop to see what kind of stuff is there that may or may not have been inspired by the nomad series that I did. Some of the stuff may have existed before I did that. Um, but after the ending of Nomad, you know, I kind of miss it. So what better way to kind of get that, you know, the, scratch the itch of the Nomad survival than seeing what other people have built in that theme. Here we have by Savid Herb, uh, Nomad. It's, it's just called Nomad. So you can, you can see why it popped up. So I guess it's supposed to be like a miner and a tree chopper and a refiner and just pretty much everything in one. So let's take a look at what we got here. Uh, obviously we got our drills. We got our saw blades. We got all kinds of storage going on. A massive crafting or store. Yeah, crafting chain and storage. Chain. Look at this. This is crazy. And it looks like we can even uh, pick up stuff from the ground. Wait, it's not. Oh, I thought there was going to be one from each side being symmetrical, but nope. Uh, we can pick stuff up from the ground over here. It's got resource collectors as well. Okay, so let's give it a try. I'm going to spawn in a stone and a tree. Okay, so let's push buttons and see what happens. All right, so that's for the saw blades. That's for the lights. Okay, we can put that down. Oh, oh, interesting. That goes down really far. All right, there is for the drills. What is that? What? Wait, what? What? Oh, what is that? All right, let's press number six first. Okay, that's how we switch. Number six is a switch from saws to drills. But hold on, I didn't even see this. Number one, no connections. Number two. There's no connections to these things. What then what what's the point? Well, hold on. Get, take me up here. What what is this? Is this just like a area lighting? That is so weird. <laughs> that might just be like a just the area light cuz it has those lights up there. Interesting. All right, so let's switch to tree chopper mode. Oh, that is so interesting. The uh the suspension must be on nothing. Which makes sense, actually. All right, let's see how well this thing chops some trees. All right, so far, so good. Wow, this is actually really, really efficient. Okay, so I think it was number three that is supposed to bring it down. Yep. All right, here we go. Let's see how fast we can get through here. All right, doing good so far. And the refining is already on its way. Look at that. All right, I'm not gonna refine the whole tree because I think we got the gist now. Let me get rid of the stump though, at least. All right, now let's switch over to rock mode. Whoa. Oh, that's so cool. Looking how the uh, suspension is responding. Whoa, okay. Wow. This thing just tore through that rock. But well, although like in, in real survival mode, the rocks are never on nice, convenient flat ground like this. So let's see how it does with the rest of the stuff here. All right, actually, it's doing pretty good. I had some bad experience with having resource collectors on the mining vehicle, but as you can see, this, uh, not too bad. All right, this is something that I never actually did in survival. I didn't, I've never had a two-in-one logger, uh, miner. I've had, a, I've always had a separate logging vehicle or a separate mining vehicle, or in my Nomad, uh, series, I swapped out the drills for saw blades uh, as needed rather than just having both on the same creation. All right, we actually do have a ton of stuff to look at. This is Nomad Base by Racer Boy. So this thing is just surrounded with saw blade protection everywhere. Now, how do we get in? Oh, here we go. Wow, these are some massive doors. Oh, it's got a vehicle in the back as well. Oh, interesting. Okay, we can separate the vehicle here. All right, doesn't actually feel too laggy yet. I'm actually, I'm gonna drive this thing from the front here before I even, uh, oh, there's no, there's no buttons here? No buttons on this. All right, how many wheels does this have? Is that 12 wheels? All right, let's go ahead and drive forward. I'm surprised I can't, I can't even see the back. Oh, the vehicle's starting to move. All right, I mean, this thing drives around pretty fine. I feel like ground clearance could be a bit of an issue. It's okay on this kind of ground, at least stick to the roads, stick to the roads. So now let's see if you wanted to get out of it. Man, look at all this storage. There's massive amounts of storage on this thing. All right, now let's see. Wait, can this vehicle fit through this door? Oh my, it is an exact fit. Literally exactly the right dimensions. All right, so this is interesting. Okay, I don't think that this can drill um, the stuff on the ground, can it? 
See if they can drill these things. Oh, it can. What about the smaller ones? Oh, all right. For some reason, I thought it was going to be too tall, but it's perfect. It's so simple. This is like the smallest mobile refinery that is also a dual purpose logger and miner that I've seen. And then I have a press number two. And look at that. We can just start cutting. We can cut the smallest, the smallest piece here. That's great. This is, this is keeping it simple right here. This is how you do it. Keep it simple. All right. I didn't actually take a look that well of how this, oh my goodness. Look at this maze of pipes going on in here. That's some heavy duty pipage, but that is a lot of storage, way more storage than I think I had. This, this is crazy though. This is just absolutely crazy. All right. Up next, this one's a little bit different. Uh, this is a Nomad Caravan by Paraska GML. Now, some of these things may or may not be like survival compatible. This thing I think is. I think all of these items that I see so far are actually obtainable in survival. Does this thing have a turret on the back? Look at that. <laughs> this actually isn't that bad either. It's easy to, it's easy to, you know, gauge your aim, but you have to use a lot of ammo in order to zero in yourself. Wait, is this the front? No, this can't be the front. Is this the, no, this is the back, right? Hold on, I thought this was gonna be the front. Is this the back? Oh, this might actually be the back. What is the, and there's like a hook back here? Let me see. That's, is that functional? I don't know, I don't, we have to find out. Whoa, look at all these beds. This is, a, this is a, this is a city. This is a mobile city train. Look at the, we got a storage section here. Wow. All right, let's move on to this one. This looks like, oh, that's interesting. Uh, this is our craft bot, just just the craft bot. Oh, I can't get by here. All right, craft bot, just a couple chests of the craft bot, so you'd have to keep track of what's going on there. And wow, this is really cool. Okay, and this is the front, not the best view. Uh, let's go ahead and start, I'm trying to drive this thing. Come on. Oh, oh, we're moving, we're moving. There, mu there must be some wheels that are not spinning in the right direction or something. All right, I'm trying to turn. Oh, it's turning. I wasn't, for some reason, I did not expect the turning. That looks cool. I love the snaky feel of it. It looks so cool seeing all of the different segments uh, be able to do that. However, the power of this thing, it, there's definitely much to be desired for power. This is not gonna get up hills to the trader if the trader is up on a hill, that's for sure. All right, up next, we have Nomad Heavy Mobile Survival Base by Henry Alex. So this is another segmented base here. Uh, definitely risky when it comes to frame rate and survival for sure. Uh, so it looks like on the back, we have our craft bot, which is not hooked up into any chests. Uh, we have our craft bot and we got our storage there. Um, we have a mid, where is, okay, there's a switch here. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting choice for the doors. The pistons are just blocking the way, but they have no collisions. Oh, this is nice. We got some storage. We got a bed. We have a whole like kitchen here. Nice, nice job putting the component kit under there for aesthetic. Oh, we got a suspension mug too. All right. Um, got a light. Oh, that also does the doors too. And we got some seats next to a table. Okay, uh, let's move up onto the front section. Close these doors again and go on in here. This kind of looks like almost a uh, laser, like security lasers that detect or harm anything that tries to get through the door. We got our fuel, our batteries, and our driver's seat. Let's see how this thing, oh, that steering is interesting, isn't it? Uh, oh, the front of this actually looks kind of cool. I'm a fan of the front. All right, this is an electric engine. So very, very slow, but should have the power to get up a hill like this. And I guess if we're lacking the power, we can have thruster assistance, but nope. Electric engines are pretty powerful. Look at that, no problem at all. And I do like the snaky look of it as well. It just seeing the curves, the nice, the nice curves in response to the terrain always looks nice. Very satisfying. Not the fastest. I don't think we could outrun a farm bot in this one. Actually, there's a real easy way to test that. All right, run away. Oh, he's a lot faster than, look, he's just, <laughs> oh, wait, what, what is he doing? He can totally run faster than that. He's just, he's just not. This is very strange behavior from this farm bot here. No, yeah, he's definitely faster than us. He's just also confused. Yeah, he's a little confused. All right, we're going to have to clear.
Okay, up next, we have Nomadic Mobile Base by Chronicles. This is a fully, fully, base. Uh, obviously another survival based one. Uh, and ooh, this will, oh, this is, this is weird. This looks smaller than it did in the, uh, the thumbnail. This made it look like it was gonna be massive, but it's actually, I think this is smaller than what I, I built in my series. Um, how to get in to the mobile base? Oh, maybe right here. Oh. Well, this is interesting. Okay, so we actually have the craft bot is going out into a fuel canister, which then goes out into the whole uh, storage chain. Okay, whoa. Yeah, and then we have the refiner is back here. Let's remove this. Oops, 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 oops. All right, let's get in, drive away. There we go. All right, so it looks like, yep, this is the refiner. We're going to be collecting with this vehicle. So what is this? Oh, that's pretty cool. Wait, what? Is, is there something that can actually get pulled into here? How does that work? I don't even understand how that's supposed to work. All right, let's try it out here. Definitely getting some frame issues with this build. But I really, I don't see how how this conveyor belt is supposed to work at all. I feel like it's just the front saw blade is the only thing that's going to do anything. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way anything is going to get up into there. Right? <laughs> I don't think this works the way it's supposed to work. Um, but then it looks like there is a hitch, some type of like trailer hitch. Here, let's turn these off now. Uh, is this even, is this gonna work? Hold on, let's get into, this is really, really low to the ground right now. I get the feeling it's gonna raise up. Whoa! Whoa, that's actually pretty cool. Let's look at what's going on in here. Wow. That is that is actually really cool. All right, so let's try to hook up the trailer hitch then. All right, so we just back this up right there. And we get in the driver's seat right here. And bring this on up. And there we go. Uh, the wheels aren't turning, so it's acting pretty much like a brake. That's, uh, that's the downside of having a seat hooked into the engines is the wheels will not turn because the engine's gonna be trying to put the parking brake on when you're not in the seat automatically. But hey, this thing has the pulling power, that's for sure. All right, up next we have Nomad and Quad ATV by Kichi. Oh, this is definitely interesting. I don't, I, I'm not sure if this is survival oriented. With all these pipe pieces, may, maybe not. But as you can see, we got kind of like our basic trailer. It is holding the quad apparently. All right, we got some we got some buttons on this thing. So number one, <laughs> a little little excessive on the lights. <laughs> we got a horn, and then we can put that down. All right, so now that we put that down, let's go ahead and disconnect this. There we are, and drive this thing off the trailer. That's cool. And then we also have just more more lights, a lot more lights. Yeah, I don't think this is a survival oriented thing. I think I just think this was a, a nomad themed. Uh, build for just creative mode, which it, hey it works. Okay up next. We're looking at my fifth nomad vehicle base by bandit Apparently this has four vehicles in total and the main base is in scrapman colors, which uh, you know Always a pre. Oh, yep. Yeah, this, this has some familiar frame rates. This definitely has some familiar frame rates, doesn't it? <laughs> That's what you get for putting four vehicles into one all right, let's just drive the main thing around. Can we turn? Oh, yeah, that's probably why. Yeah, trailers and scrap mechanic, as cool as trailers are, it's just not a good mix for frame rate uh, optimization, that's for sure. But uh, I'm curious to see what the rest of these vehicles are all about. It looks like one of those is a boat of sorts. Oh, okay. I think I'm gonna disconnect this then. We're just gonna go ahead and do that and we can delete this part And now let's just look at the trailer by itself. So we can get some more frames. Yeah, cuz I think this is the legs Yeah, that's the legs. All right, that makes sense. All right, let's move on to the back. So what we got going on back here Oh, what is this? Oh, we got like a lock mechanism Okay, so now we got let's just look in the trailer first Oh, that's probably not supposed to happen yet. All right, we got our storage here. We got our crafting chain. Oh, it is laggy. Oh, and up here, we even got a resource collector leading into a refiner, which then leads into this whole crafting chain. Okay, cool. So now we got this vehicle. 
Let's go ahead and disconnect this thing and drive it on out of here. As we separate these, we should get some more frames back again. All right, come on out. There we go. Oh, so much more frames. So this is, interestingly enough, this looks like another, whoa, fancy. Another multi-purpose logging mining vehicle. You guys are fancy with these. And a single resource collector, though. That'd be kind of difficult. I love those saw blades, though. How they fold in like that. So neat and tidy. Yep. That's good. I like that. All right. Now let's see what else we got here. Uh, so we do this. And this brings down another layer of ramp here. And then we got this. What is this? This must be a warehouse tank. This is, yeah, this is a warehouse tank. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm good. I got it. I got it. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure this is designed. Oh. What? It's so slow. Oh, is that just a, I, I don't understand. I don't know what that's really for. Is that to lower the profile? If it just fit through tighter spots? No, that actually makes the profile a little bit wider. I'm not too sure what the utility of that is. Whoa! Oh, that's cool. So then you get out and then you can start popping off some tape bots with your spud guns here. That's really cool. This is a this is a very fancy high-tech uh, warehouse tank here. All right, and then we got another vehicle. And this, I'm assuming, is a boat. But it looks like it's also land-ready as well. So, yeah, look at... Oh, look at that steering. That's really well done. All right, we got our light. Now let's get into the water. And perfect. Really easy. Really easy to drive. Fast, nimble, super quick. All-terrain vehicle here. All right, look at that. Four vehicles in one, just like you said. Okay, up next, we have Scrapman Nomad RV by Grimmin666, obviously inspired by the Nomad series here. What is this? Oh, just access to the bottom. Okay, we got a door here. We got the expanding staircase and everything. What about up here? Yeah, we got the... Very much inspired by my RV there. Oh, this is interesting. This goes down instead of up like mine did. All right, a lot of space back here. A lot of space back here. Wow. All right, let's bring that back up. Okay, let's head up to the front. We can also go up onto the roof here. Yep, a lot more space than my vehicle had, that's for sure. And whoa, this is fast. <laughs> this is so fast. <laughs> These engines are excessive. It looks like it has a similar steering method to what I was using as well, at least in the earlier days of the Nomad Survival before I started simplifying things for lag. But yeah, relatively bare bones, still a lot of room for activities in there, but a lot of nostalgia from this one. <laughs> okay, up next, we have Nomad Vehicle 1 by Hisun. All right, now this, this is a survival base if I've ever seen one. What I like about this is just the scrappy nature of it. You have like actual things placed like this instead of just in chests, like stuff like this. It just, it, I, it gives it the aesthetic. Look at the craft bot sticking up here. Uh, we got oil, we got chemicals, we got a bed it's that's an interesting design for the bed um all kinds of fun stuff we got a water launcher or something oh we got some oh, more stairs we got some ammo and stuff up here uh a locker which is rebuilt because i don't think we have access to that in creative mode all kinds of circuit boards and batteries and everything all right let's get in the driver's seat this driver's seat's in a really interesting position oh there's no even there's no buttons on the driver's seat either huh but yeah, in the back, you can see we got our collector that's leading into the refinery, which then leads into some chests that are connected to the craft bot too. So it is survival ready. Oh, look at the, uh, in the front there. Those are soil bags. <laughs> those are wedge gang soil bags. You could have easily used the, uh, the curves. And look at the drill just hanging from the front on a loose bearing. What? <laughs> Why? I like the chaotic nature of it. As much as it's hard for me to build something that has a chaotic, like, design to it, um, I like there to be, like, symmetry and order. I have an appreciation for, like, a good-looking asymmetrical design like that. Okay, up next, we got Scrapman Nomadic Concept by Tad Sharov. So, let's see what this thing is all about. Looks like it got, uh, similar steering to what I used, but not the same. Oh, this is, this is very different. It looks like it uses a lot more bearings than I was using. Wait, what? The craft bot is crafting? What are you crafting? Well, you're in the ceiling. What are you doing? 
Oh, it's just got this on repeat. Interesting. Oh, whoa. Oh, there's actual like stuff going on in here. I don't actually see things go through the tubes too much because I don't really use the tubes that much. That's kind of fun. Oh, this has four resource collectors with this thing just right on top. Can it pull from them like that? I never thought about putting resource collectors underneath. How interesting. Oh, okay. Oh, and that's the back gate there. I don't know what this one does. But here, let's stand on this. Let's work our way up to the... I did not have an elevator. I never even considered putting an elevator in my vehicle. All right, drive this thing around a little bit. We got one button for lights. All right, and it drives fine. Take a look at the, the steering working. Oh, and we bottomed out. <laughs> We bottomed out with the resource collectors. Yeah, that's the tough thing about the resource collectors is they're, they're very, very big. They take up a lot of space. So having them like flush in the floor of your vehicle means that they're sticking down a lot. I dealt with some of the issues when I was trying to design mine as well. Okay, and then up last, this is one of the more interesting looking ones. This is called Bus by Gear Kaneki. And of course, I can't spawn it in. Well, that's really disappointing. Why can't I spot? There's something on here, some type of modded piece, and I have all of my mods enabled. Look at how crazy this thing looks. I was really hoping to use this for the uh, for the thumbnail, but I guess I'm gonna have to find something else. I was like, I was gonna save that one for last and everything, but I can't build the shape. I should have tested it before I started the video. Well, you're gonna have to admire it from the blueprint menu like I did. But unfortunately, that means I gotta end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know which one of these survival vehicles was your favorite. There was a lot that we looked at today. I wasn't sure I was gonna be able to get to them all. And if you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some other stuff on the channel too that you can check out on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.